Are you ready? Yes. Wait, then. Oh, 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 wait, 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 wait. Doctor, actually, this is not going to cure my sickness. Yes. What do you mean this is not going to cure your sickness? Are you are you normal? Yes. So what's going to cure cure your sickness? You know I don't have boyfriend. Wait. What the? Wait. Elizabeth, nobody must hear about this. Okay, doctor, nobody hates. <sighs> Get your hands off me. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. Elizabeth. Sir. Where are you coming from? I I got an emergency call. Yes, a friend of mine called me on the phone that is in town. He came all the way from Bore. So I decided to rush and see him before he would leave. But he said he'll be leaving in the evening. So that is why. Are you serious? Yes. A friend of yours called you and you had to leave your work and go and see him? Yes. I'm sorry, sir. Wait. You left this hospital abandoning all the patients you're supposed to take care of to go and see a friend of, of a friend of yours who called you. Yes, it was an emergency, sir. How is it an emergency for a friend of yours to call you and you had to leave? Do you know that you're putting the, the lives of our patients at, at risk? <laughs> You left the hospital around 10 a.m. and you're coming back now. This is 2 p.m. to go and see a friend of yours. Are you sure you love this your job? Or you want to lose it? No, I don't want to lose it. I love my job. You love your job? Yes. And you are acting. Are you okay? I'm perfectly okay. I'm sorry, sir. It won't happen again. Don't touch me. I'm I'm very sure you don't know about, you don't know much about your profession. I, I guess I guess you, you are mistaking yourself for some, some other profession. It's just that. Do you know who you are? You are a nurse. A caregiver. You're telling me you, you, you got a call from a friend who came from Wari and he had to abandon all the patients in, in, in the hospital to go and see whoever that came from Wari putting all the lives of our patients in danger. Sir, I'm sorry, sir. Because you didn't even notify anybody. Are you, are you okay? I'm okay. Elizabeth. I'm, I'm very sure you are mistaking your profession for something else because I, I don't think you really know who you are. The lives of people depend on you. Of course I know. Be careful. This should never happen again. This should never happen again. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Now leave the place. Leave. Do not leave.
Ah ah, doctor, I was coming to your office to talk to you about something. I'm um, actually going out. I got a call from a patient I'm treating at home. So I'm going for home service. Maybe you will talk to me when I'm back. Is it very important? Yes. I hope you come back on time. Don't worry. When I come back, you can talk to me. Let me go and see somebody. Okay, doctor. You come and take care of that woman in room 113. Make sure you give her her drugs because it's almost time. Go and get okay. it ready. Okay, doctor. I'll do as you say. All right. Bye bye. Feliz bed. Doctor. Good afternoon, sir. Afternoon. Sir, it's about what I told you earlier, but I wanted to ask you something. Okay, so... What is that? It's about the promotion program that's supposed to hold the ending of this month. I want to know if it's going to hold so that I will be promoted to another level. Because the salary we are ending is very, very small. I want my salary to be increased. You want to know if the promotion is going to hold? Yes, sir. So you are, in, you are interested in being promoted to another level? Yes, sir. But you can't take your work serious? No, no, no. Tell me, how can you be promoted with this act of yours? Abandoning patients and going to wherever you want, not attending to them and giving them their medication on time. There is a time schedule for all patients, a time in which you are supposed to give them their drugs. But sometimes, if a patient's drug is going to be given to him or her by 10 a.m., you, you end up giving it to him or her by 11 or 12 and still yet you want to be promoted to another level. Who does that? Tell me, tell me how you will be promoted. I'm sorry. Whatever place I have offended, the vanity in your heart to forgive me and promote me to another level. This is very expensive. I mean, this salary is very small for me. Eh? I want it to be increased, please, sir. Eh? I need the promotion, please. You, you don't need to, to beg me because I am not the CEO of this hospital. I'm not the CEO, so I'm not even in charge of the promotion. Me, yeah, I as well, I want to be promoted. But sir, you are the director. You can help me talk to the CEO as well. <laughs> I don't think that is going to be possible. Sir, please do it. Talking to the CEO on your behalf. That is not going to be possible. After seeing all, all the things you are doing here. If you want to be promoted, you work. Give a good attention to your work. Not by doing anyhow you want, endangering the lives of our patients. I mean, put yourself in the shoe of the CEO of this hospital. Okay, sir. I will put more effort in everything that I'm doing in this hospital. Yes, I will work more harder just to make sure you promote me. Please. Oh, you, you, you said it all. You are going to do it because you want to be promoted. No. Not for the passion of the job. You know, I have told you before, I don't really know if you, you, want, you, you went to a nursing school. Did you graduate from a nursing school? Yes, sir. How did you I even did. get a job here in this hospital? Because if I was to be the one who interviewed you, I don't think you would have gotten this job. Eh. Or if I should be in the position to sack you, maybe you might not be here anymore. Yes, because this, this carelessness and uh, uh, uncaring attitude of yours is, is not good to be... To, to, it's not a good act of a, 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 care, a caregiver. 
So I'm sorry, please. You don't need to be sorry, please. I think this conversation is over. No. The promotion scheme is not in my hand. I am not the one promoting you. I I believe the supervisor are watching your back. They are taking note of whatever you are doing in this hospital. So don't don't be don't don't come to me. You're young. Sir. This conversation is over. Sir, you're the you director. Please help you me. You can go. Sir, please, I need the promotion. I want my salary to increase. Eh? Leave my office. Thank you. Go and take care of the patients. Sir, please. Yeah. Leave my office. Will you do that for me? Elizabeth, how can I help you? Does any patient need my attention? No. Doctor, please, I came to beg you. Please, forgive me. Eh? Forgive you for what? For my, what I did last time when I left at the office without permission. Yes, please. I'm not going to in your heart to forgive me. But I'm not holding any grudges against you. I'm only advising you to be a good nurse. I mean, you are working in the health care. You, you should be professional in your job. That's, that's all I'm asking you of. Nothing else. Just be professional. Come to work on time. Be punctual. Give the patients their drugs uh, at the scheduled time. Don't do things at, uh, at your own preferred time. That's all I'm asking you of. Be a good professional. That's all. I'm not holding anything against you, like I said before. I know you're putting up all, all this innocent attitude because of the upcoming promotion. No. Nothing else. No, it's not because of that. And I have told you it is not even in my power to promote anyone working in this, in this hospital. So you should have it in mind. All you have to do is be a good nurse, be a professional nurse, do, do your duty as, as you're supposed to. You can't do more, 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 more than that. Any other thing? Because I don't think you are here for anything serious. No, you can leave, 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 leave. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to write up something. Have you forgiven? Leave, leave. I said I don't have anything against you. Can go. Please make sure you shut the door. Moss Elizabeth. Sir. What are you doing in my house unannounced? Sir, can I have a seat? Okay, you can have a seat. Thank you. Like I said, what are you doing in my house unannounced? Doctor, I came for two purposes. Uh -huh. First, I came to beg. Then the second one, I hear that your wife is importing female clothes from outside country. So I decided to come and Patronize her. Yes. Well, I, out of your two reasons, I guess it's only one that is valid, which is you coming to patronize my wife. But the other one of you begging, I have told you, what you are asking for is not in my power. I don't know why you suddenly become a changed person over this 
upcoming promotion scheme Sir, which I... is not in my power it is not something i can handle it is being carried out by the ceo of that hospital the hospital does not belong to me i am only the director of the hospital i am an employee just like you are but you are the director eh i just want to be promoted and so my salary will increase eh this is very expensive in the market. Elizabeth. My salary is not enough for me. I'm owing so many people. Eh, doctor, El Elizabeth. please do anything and help me. Elizabeth, Elizabeth, can you listen to me? Can yes. you can you listen to me? Yes. What you are asking of is not something that lies between my hands. It is not something that I can control. So just the the promotion scheme is in in two weeks time yes so maybe as you have changed just like you said not me i don't know if you have changed then continue being a good nurse continue being a professional nurse maybe the pro, the, the supervisor will notice you and give you a good remark only then will, you will be promoted any other thing is is not within my power this doctor and for your second reason of coming as you can see this is weekend i, I need to rest my wife is not at home if not i would have called her to come and talk with you on the second reason why you came but i'm going to give you her number so that you can contact her yeah mm -hmm. message her on whatsapp then you two will talk about the, the female wears. Okay. Call so the number. Let me type in the number. Our WhatsApp number. Please let it be correct one. Was I going to give you a wrong number? Before? Do I know you? Whether you give me wrong one. Thank you. That's my wife's WhatsApp number. Okay. You can talk about the business with her. Saved. Okay, so. Um, doctor, please. I'm still begging. I just want to be promoted. Eh? So that my salary will increase. Please, can, can you... help me talk to the CEO of the hospital. Eh? So that I will be promoted. You are the director for goodness sake. Hmm? Please, director. I'm hungry. Um, I guess we are done talking. Because I don't know what else to tell you. I'm a changed person now. Yes, I've That's changed. That's between you and the owner of the hospital. You're not working for me. What you're asking for is not in my power. Can you start going already? Um, It's nice hosting you. Can you start going already? It's not like I see if I'm driving you from my house. I don't want you to feel like that, but can can we start going already? Don't. Elizabeth, can we let's let me see you off to the door. Please. Let me see you off to the door. Eh? Let's get going already. Stand up. I don't want it to be like I'm Doctor, driving. Please. Elizabeth, can you? I just want to be promoted. Eh? You, you will be promoted. You will definitely be promoted if you do well. It's not if I do. I'm a change person now. Eh? Doctor, please consider me, Doctor. Don't worry. Don't worry. Uh, doctor, please help me talk to the CEO, please. It is not in my power. Oh, you are the director. Can you just get going already? I just want to be promoted. That is all. You will be promoted. Are you sure? Can you can you get going already? Doctor, are you sure? I will. Yeah. I will talk. Yes, I will. I will.
Who is there? It's me, Nurse Elizabeth. Come inside. Uh -huh. Nurse Elizabeth, how is the patient in room 111? They're, they're okay. Have you given that woman her medicine this morning? Yes, I have. Hope she's improving. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so prepare the afternoon uh, so that and make sure you give her on time. Okay, sir, no problem. I will do that. So, how can I help you? Um, so I don't understand how my body is to you. The I'm, body is doing you. How is your body doing? I've been feeling feverish since last night. Feverish? Yes. Okay. Have you taken any medicine? No, I'm not. Since last night? Yes. My body is spinning me. Are you are you married, if I may ask? No, I'm not. Doctor, this one you ask me if I'm married. Eh? Yes, I'm asking you because I just want to know. It might be part of your sickness. Maybe you are pregnant. Ha! Ah, no, I'm not pregnant. Uh, it's not even about being married. Who knows if you are you you you, are, you got it from your boyfriend? Uh, I don't Doctor, know. what ah. do you mean? No, I'm not pregnant. Anyway, I'm saying that because of the 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 symptoms you are having. It's it's always about pregnancy, malaria, infection, and all of that. You know, you are not, you are not supposed to be. So, so um, since you said you have not taken any medicine. Yes, doctor. Are you breathing well? Are you breathing properly? Are you breathing properly? Yes, doctor. Just that my body Leave my hand. Um, I think you are breathing properly. It's not something serious. Okay. That could be malaria coming, or uh, possibly, like I said, maybe you are pregnant. But anyway, since we are not starting about what is wrong with you, um, I don't know if you have money for lab tests to consult the lab test so I can take you to the lab and carry out some tests. There's no money now, eh? You know the salary I'm any year is very small. I'm not asking you about your salary. I only asked if you have money to consult some tests. Okay. Not, you must not tell me about your salary all the time. I'm not the CEO of this property. I don't have money. The only help I can give to you is give you this preventive multipurpose Injection, if you are interested in it. Ah, it's not going to pain me. Hm. I'm only trying to help you. Okay, no problem. You were supposed to pay for it. But I, I just want to help you. So, in case if you are not interested, I can still put it back.
Come this way. You are a nurse. When you are giving injection to others, you you you, you, you don't know how it used to be. Why are you looking at me? What's wrong with you? Wait. Please don't waste my time. Bend, bend, bend down. Doctor, wait. Um, he's going to pay me. So why are you telling me? Do you want the fever to go or you want it to remain? I want it to go. Do you want the fever to go or you want it to remain? Don't waste my time. I'm 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 doing something with my phone. I want it to go. I have turn your back. Wait, eh, eh, doctor. Are you joking with me or what? No. You are a nurse. You're a professional nurse. That is why I kept saying, I don't even know if you went to a nursing school because you're not supposed to be afraid of shrink. Are you okay? Yes. I'm fine. Now I'm done. Oh, doctor. What's your problem? What's your problem? I don't have a problem, just that. Don't. Remove your hand. Hey, doctor! Are you alright? Wait, do you want me to inject you or I should keep it back? Do you know that this thing expires? I, I, should be, I shouldn't be asking you because you are a nurse. You know that this e expires. Can you relax? Let me help you. Ben. Doctor. Doctor, wait, 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 wait. Doctor, actually, this is not going to cure my sickness. Yes. What do you mean this is not going to cure your sickness? Are you are you normal? Yes. So what's going to cure, cure your sickness? You know I don't have boyfriend. Wait. What the? Wait. What? What's wrong with you? Please. Are you okay? Uh, Elizabeth, this is all my sickness. Stop! Let's go. Are you 
Noma. Dr. Noma, I don't have a boyfriend. Leave my office. No, it does not go to that. Can you stay? Leave my office. Are you all right? I'm okay. Did you say I should, I should go? Elizabeth, what's wrong with you? Doctor, you know I don't have a boyfriend. What's wrong? What's the problem? That is what will cure my sickness. Yes. Elizabeth, nobody must hear about this. Okay, doctor, nobody will hear. Get your hands off me. So sweet. Elizabeth! Doctor. What is the meaning of You got my message right? What? I must be promoted. Elizabeth? Yes, Doctor. Are you trying to blackmail me or what? No. I know you wouldn't want your wife to see this video. Hmm? So. You must promote me. If not, I'll send her this video. She'll see everything that will be it. Hmm? Get your hands off me. Ah. Elizabeth. Doctor. Elizabeth. Doctor. Elizabeth. Doctor. Elizabeth, you must delete that video. What did I say? You must delete that video. That means? You must promote me. Hmm? Elizabeth. Elizabeth. Leave my office. So fast. Come on. Come on. Doctor, you must promote me. Elizabeth, leave my office.